Alright, what's up guys? Um, so I've gotten a lot of people asking me um, what's the best settings for your wooden keyboard since I just recently switched from Sayo device to uh, Wooting ADHE, which is what I have right now. And I've been, a lot of people have been asking me uh, what are the best settings for this. And I'm about to go through those right now. Uh, just real quick. Uh, I use up arrow and then sometimes when I alternate I also use W okay uh, I really love up arrow I just I tap it head-on just like that I don't do no sideways stuff and I don't use a space bar or control or period or something weird like that I just use the up arrow um, okay so what you're gonna wanna do is we can create a new profile here and you can put custom okay press continue and then you can put name it geometry dash or something okay now that you've done that and then you want an onboard profile so that you can switch to it and that just means that you can put function and then uh, switch to it really fast uh, so okay so then I have a slot open right here and I can put it right there okay now we can go ahead and edit this profile um, and now that we're in it, this is Geometry Dash 1, okay? And you're going to notice that everything here, this is the basic settings, okay? This is just when you press custom. Um, and you're going to want to turn on tachyon mode because that turns on your 8K polling, okay? That turns on your 8,000 hertz. This is very important. Turn this on, okay? Now press one of the keys like it doesn't matter. Press 1 and then press select all, okay? And then you can put the actuation point all the way down okay now take in mind this will make it very very sensitive okay so if you have a habit of resting your fingers on the keys then uh, you might have to change that because the actuation point is going to be very low or you can just do that and then make the actuation point just that for this one and then for all the rest of them you can make it one just like that um, and then you can and now just this one is point 0.1 and this one's one you can do it like that okay now the next thing you're gonna have to do um, is turn on rapid trigger okay and put that all the way down okay now if you want to you can separate the press and release sensitivity but all this is gonna do is um, this is just going to make it so that you can make it so you can scroll these like side to side or whatever make it so that you whenever you release is higher than whenever you press and but you don't need that because you want the lowest possible reaction time and this is going to give it to you uh, point 0.15 this is the lowest it goes okay now we can go to actuation point everything should be done here this is what it should look like everything at point 0.1 should be good Okay, rapid trigger, everything should be fine. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna turn on continuous rapid trigger. This will help you spam correctly. And if you're going up, especially in a wave game mode, then this will help you. That way you don't have to release the button all the way before you press it again. Okay, it doesn't matter the RGB settings. Uh, you won't be able to put like the fancy stuff on whenever tachyon mode is enabled but you need that so um, yeah it doesn't matter you can pick a preset I always just pick a preset I don't make my own stuff um, but like turning all these to black it's not really gonna help you um, it doesn't really do anything so yeah this is your light indicator this does also doesn't do anything and everything else remapping advanced keys this is all uh, this all has nothing to do with your reaction speed. So that is how you set up a Wooting ADHE for Geometry Ash. And these are the best settings possible out there. This is what I use. This is what Zoink uses. This is what uh, Doggy uses. This is what anyone with a uh, Wooting ADHE uses. These are the settings. All right. All right, guys, a little side note. Uh, one, I had assumed that you had already connected your keyboard, and it's not that hard. All you have to do is just go into the program and then press connect, and it should walk you through really, really straightforward. This is just for the settings. And two, make sure when you edit something, 
after you're finished editing all this stuff press this little button right here save to keyboard this is really important if you don't press save to keyboard none of your settings are gonna save and that's really gonna suck see if I go out of this then all the changes you made may not be saved okay so do that and uh, yes like and subscribe tune into my series at 1% every end every day it's going really well using these settings and yeah subscribe thank you for watching